Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So this video is going to be, it's pretty much a disaster. Okay. So what you're going to see is you're going to watch this introduction right to the video. And then what I'm going to do is transition right into a video that I attempted to make on this guy right here. This company reached out to me and just said, Hey, Wondered if uh, you'd be interested in, you know, doing some reviews on, you know, an optic that, that we have. Here's ones that you can choose from. Let us know what you think. You know, we'll be happy to, uh, to post the video or, you know, add the video to uh, to the Amazon page where you basically, because you, you see these things on Amazon all the time. They're this scope. I think right now you go look it up. I believe it's $59, so 60 bucks, right? So you just gotta kinda go into it with that level of expectation that this is budget of budget, right? But I was kinda interested in testing it out, right? Because we are somewhat budget oriented here. I'm just a regular guy uh, making these videos. So someone reaches out and wants to send me a scope, I'll be happy to check it out. Well, the problem is this thing is absolute garbage. And I do not recommend you waste sixty dollars on going and buying it. Again, you know, caveat that with this is one data point, right? But it is absolute garbage. Okay. First of all, the thing came and it looked like it had already been used. To be honest with you, I don't know if it was a display model or what. Really, don't know who would use it because it just well. So one thing you'll see when I do the unboxing, um, because I, that's the thing, I don't know if they just packaged this whole thing back up, sealed it back up and made it look like it was new, but mar you know, there were some marks on the scope where it looked like it had already been placed in some rings and different things like that. And then on top of that, it came with the elevation and windage adjusted all the way down. Uh, and then windage was, I believe all the way to the left. So when I get it out, and unbox it and then I try to turn the turrets because you have to pull the turrets up uh, to make an adjustment and you push them down to lock them in place. Couldn't get the turret to move. So that's basically where I kind of killed the video. I was like, okay, in, in my mind, I'm like, all right, I need to go figure out what's going on. Well, that was the issue was that it was basically bottomed all the way out. So that I just found that to be kind of odd. But the, the thing, the scope is practically unusable because the reticle it's not even lined up in the scope in terms of it, it's canted like massively, you know, you're basically, if you have the, if you try to mount the scope and you try to get the turrets pretty much parallel, right? So if you try to, and I've got the little Wheeler mounting system. So if you try to get everything level in terms of the turrets and the bore of the rifle, your reticle, I mean, no joke, it's canted, it's insane. And it's not even close. You have to literally turn the scope. You have to have the elevation turret almost at a 45 degree angle, right? Which is not the design intent of the scope. I can promise you that because it also has an, uh, an illumination battery compartment. It's just like a standard scope, right? You got your elevation windage turret and then, you know, those cheap, uh, scopes with with illumination back here on the on the uh on the eyepiece it's the it's the same setup and so yeah they just it's terrible absolutely terrible so that's what you're about to see is the actual unboxing portion of that because i was like you know what that's it once i once i realized that i was like okay can't recommend this i'm just gonna make a video basically stating that and then leave it at that so that's it. So now, um, but also I am, I've got to get hot and heavy on this 270 Winchester load. If I plan on taking this to Kentucky to lay the smack down on a monster whitetail coming up in the fall or coming up in the winter, fall slash winter, we're planning me, my brother, hopefully my cousin, not sure if he's going to be able to go, but my uncle and my dad, we're, we're trying to plan a trip to Kentucky hunt some public land. So if you know of any amazing public land spots and you feel feel like telling everyone, 
drop a comment below. I greatly appreciate it because we're looking for spots to go. Uh, public land hunt, we're super pumped. This will be, I've hunted in Tennessee before, but that's it. So really excited and I'm almost positive, about 99% sure that I will be taking the Tika T3X Super Light Chambered 270 Winchester uh, as, as my rifle. So for that hunt, but now I've got a couple of loads that are already dialed in and, and really good loads that, that I wanna take, but I've got a spear, 130 grain, grand slam bullet, and then I also have, I wanna say I have some 130 grain nozzler partitions that I wanna to try to work up good loads for for both of those as well. So that's kind of the game plan. But yeah, so roll right into this <laughs> disastrous video. It's about to transition, so you guys just stay tuned. Don't forget, you know, make sure you guys run down to Mr. Big Guns in Huntsville. Check out everything they got going on. A buddy of mine, I had told him about that sweet Tika T3X Super, uh, T3X, it's like Timberland or something, I, I don't know. Laminate stock, anyway, it's chambered in 300 wind short mag, super sweet rifle. He went down there, somebody else had already put it on layaway, but luckily, because those guys are awesome down there, they'll go ahead and order you one if you want. So, that's what he did, so he's got one coming in too. Uh, yeah, I, trust me, if I had the, if I had to spare change right now, believe me, that is, that's one of those rifles you purchase and it'll last you a lifetime and it'll stack up anything you're gonna shoot at in North America. So, all right, that's it. That's where we're gonna leave it. We'll catch y'all next time and en enjoy the, uh, the disaster that's about to follow. So, y'all have a good one. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So coming to you today with a little bit of a different video uh, than what I normally do. A representative from the company CV Life reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in doing a review of one of their products. They have, it's a basically a shooting accessories and optics um, company that was started, I believe, back in 2005. I think they've been making and shipping product uh, scopes and bipods and all of that fun stuff. I believe they've been doing that since around 2013, so about 10 years now uh, in, in terms of production. And so reached out and, and I was like, yeah, I'd be happy to uh, be happy to do a review. And so here we are. And they, uh, they asked me, you know, I, I told them I was more interested in the rifle scopes that they have available. And right off the bat, if you guys go and look these up, you'll see them on Amazon a lot. Uh, the company is CV Life, and they are extremely budget-oriented optics. So, which I've I've done reviews on uh, other budget, you know, friendly items in the past, and so that's why I kind of I feel like this is a good fit to at least, you know, evaluate what this would look like in, in terms of if if it's something that you would like to go purchase or you've been interested in, because again, these are extremely budget-friendly. Uh, pieces of equipment, right? This particular one that, that I'm gonna be showing you here, I believe when I went and looked on Amazon, I think it's like $59, I think is what they sell for. So we'll get right into that. We're just gonna do an unboxing. This is exactly how it came from the company. Now, if you order it from Amazon, obviously it'll have you know Amazon branded packaging and everything on it. But I'm assuming this shipped uh, not from Amazon because the box has no markings on it whatsoever. And you guys are seeing it exactly how I received it. I mean, it's got the little, uh, you know, the battery warning on it and all that fun stuff. So, but this is, this is exactly how I got it. So let's see what's in the box. So plenty of, I guess packing material, these little air filled bags. And the optic. Packing slip. So this is the, I already hear a bunch of stuff rattling around, so it might not be a good sign, but. this off to the side it's bubble wrapped which is nice so CV life 
convenient for your life. This is the four to 16 by 44 uh, tactical rifle scope. That's, that's basically how it's designated on their website. As you can see there, let's, uh, let's get this guy out of the packaging here. So these optics are made in China. Uh, that's something that you're not a fan of or is something that would deter you from owning one, then you just need to know that up front. The box is closed on either end, so it's a little bit different than what you might normally see. All right, so. Okay, uh, the scope, I'm assuming everything was wrapped prior to shipment, but I don't know if just somewhere in transit, maybe, um, you know, this is just some very thin, you know, protective material. I'm assuming this just kind of came off of the optic and everything else while it was in transit. Uh, let's see, this bag was already open or somehow it was already open and then this was torn open again, maybe in transit. I don't know, maybe these rings. I, I have no idea. Maybe that's the bag they came in or was supposed to come in. Yeah, interesting. So, all right, so there's our rings. We're not missing any screws, thankfully. Cleaning cloth, two batteries. So this does have an illuminated reticle. They include a sunshade. This is the four to 16 by 44 millimeter CV Life tactical rifle scope. This does have red and green illumination, which this is how you control that. So you've got five levels of brightness it looks like for both red and green. Yep. You have your magnification adjustment here. It's a little on the stiff side, but not, not bad. Not bad at all for just coming right out of the box. Uh, you do have to put a little bit of force into it to make that adjustment, but nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, it does include, or they do include these covers. I didn't know it came with that actually. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all there, but we're going to take that off. You have a fast focus eyepiece here at the rear of the optic. You can adjust that to whatever uh, you need to in terms of having a good crisp and clear image uh, on the in terms of the reticle getting it adjusted to your eye we've got CV life there the branding of course this is where your battery goes so that way you can control the uh, the illumination on the reticle you have your elevation and your windage turrets and then your parallax adjustment is actually on the front of the optic Okay, similar to the magnification um, adjustment, it doesn't necessarily, you know, it doesn't free spin or anything like that. I mean, you do have to put a decent amount of uh, effort into making sure you turn that. So that's good. That way it doesn't get knocked off accidentally or anything like that from what you have it set to. Now these, uh, these, turret, these turrets, uh, the adjustments are quarter MOA. Cam. I'm 
fit. They come locked. So that's one thing with this Allen key that you're able to do is um, you are able to lock the, or not lock, but set the zero. Let's see here. 